the whole world had been through the last week and have a knockdown drag out to see who was going to get up here tonight. And uh, he won. So, <laughs> <laughs> we gave Worley a hard time, but uh, Richard Daniel asked me if I'd just say it next time. And, and Brother Worley called me, he said, if you feel like you've done what you need to do, I'll be glad to go. But uh, it's all good. It's good yeah. to work together. Amen. One another. Amen. I don't feel like I'm anything up here. Uh, just trying to do something for the Lord. Like I said, he's, he's done a whole lot for me. Amen. And, uh, but uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to talk about tonight, I don't know, last three messages Preacher Daniel's preached, he's, uh, he's read scripture of what I've had. He's, uh, he's actually said some of the things I was going to say, so you may get a repeat of some stuff. But uh, mm -hmm. I tried to get away from it, but I feel like it's what the Lord wants me to do, so I just stayed with it. And, Amen. Uh, Put a lot of this in my own words, so bear with me in that. And uh, and it's nothing you haven't heard a lot of times, so I hope I don't bore you uh, of being things you know. But uh, but it's important things I was thinking about and sort of where we are. And uh, but uh, if I am telling you something you haven't heard, I guess you better be getting worried. So uh, I probably shouldn't be up here if you hadn't heard it. So. Uh, but anyway, uh, what I'd like to talk about is uh, a brief summary of fundamentals of doctrinal core beliefs. Yeah. Fundamentals. Yeah. Miss Ruby set me off on that that night. She testified I'm talking about fundamentals. I said, man, what you right. I got to thinking about that. And the more I thought about it, I'm like, that's exactly where we're at today. Amen. You know, we've got things that go every direction in the world, and they're they miss the fundamentals. Right. You know, they want to go here, but they never did get what was here. Right. And I uh, just want to say a few things, you know, uh, do the simple things to achieve your goal. Yeah. You know, do the simple things, you know, in God's word, do the simple things. Start, start with the basics, you know. Well, <clears throat> I start with the fundamentals now, something fundamental, especially one of the minimum constituents being a part or a whole without a thing or a system would not be what it is. An adjective serving, serving as a basis supporting existence or determining essential structure or function. Uh, be serving as an original or generating source uh, of relating or essential structure, function, or facts. Does that all not point to God? I mean, just yeah. the definition of that. When right. You start thinking about structure and right. and uh, and function and facts, right. and original and existence. Right. I mean, I, I was just amazed. Just and this wasn't out of a Bible. This was just out of a plain dictionary. Right. I, I was amazed at the words that you could just say. That's God. Right. You know, that's yeah. God. <clears throat> so that tells me you need the fundamentals. And there's nothing that could be more important than the fundamentals of God, mm -hmm. uh, because that's a stepping stone to everything. Uh, but uh, and it's sort of similar with, uh, you know, saying back to the basics, get the fundamentals. Let's get back to the basics. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, back to the basics. If you talk about getting back to basics, you're suggesting that people have become too concerned with complicated details or mm -hmm. new theories that. They should concentrate on simple, important ideas or activities. So, uh, you know, just get back to the basics. Mm -hmm. You know, all these theories and all these things that's out here, get back down to where, right. where it counts. Right. You know, let's start back at the bottom. But, uh, you know, it's a, uh, I've always, you know, coaching basketball, I always told the girls and boys, I said, you know, you play like you practice. Mm -hmm. And I said, if you don't have a good practice and you don't practice sufficiently and get the basics of everything, that's exactly how you're going to play. Because mm -hmm. you're not going, to, you're going to be trying to play way above your head. Right. And you don't have the basics to do it. Right. And uh, uh, and the same way with praise, you praise like you practice. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't read, you don't study, you right. don't pray, uh, you know, you don't worship. Right. Uh, it's going to show. It'll yeah. show my life. It has yeah. shown in my life. Right. I've been there. Uh, still get there. Mm -hmm. Don't do what I need to do. And, and, and it shows. You know, I show up here sometimes and I act dumb up to them. I'm like, there you go. Yeah. You know, that's what you get because it seems like everybody else is into it and I'm not because mm -hmm. I wasn't prepared when it came in. 
I didn't bring something with me. Right. Uh, but uh, I think about, I seen a clip one time of Bobby Knight, and if you don't know who that is, that's a legendary coach for Indiana Hoosiers, and uh, you just have to know him anyway. But uh, seen a clip where they was having a practice and he was trying to run a basic drill, just a fundamentals passing drill. He gives it to his point guard, and that point guard dribbles clean blade behind his back. Spends about two minutes there dribbling. He blows a whistle, walks out on the court, grabs the ball out of his hand, kicks it up in the stands. Says, we can't use that ball no more. So he ain't got no more dribble in it. Mm -hmm. He said, this is, all this was was fundamental, basic mm -hmm. play. Pass the ball. Wanted everybody to touch the ball. Just pass the ball. So trying to do all these extracurricular activities that get you nowhere. The mm -hmm. goal is to put the ball in the basket, not to dribble it out of half court for 30 minutes. Right. And uh, talking about basketball, there's a whole lot of that today. You see that. They, they dribble for five minutes and go nowhere. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, that was that was pretty, but didn't score any points, mm -hmm. you know. So, but anyway, uh, and uh, same way with, uh, you know, in practice, sometimes I'd walk off, do something, I'd tell them, I'd say, all right, we got five, ten minutes here, just free shooting, just shoot around, shoot some stuff like you would shoot in a game. And it would be five minutes, every one of them is at half court, three point <laughs> line, you know, and I'm like, honey, I like, you can't shoot a right handed layup and you're right handed. Why are you out here throwing this stuff up, you know? Yeah. I mean, but that's yeah. what it is. I mean, thinking about the religious crowd today, that's where they want to go. People are so confused. And like I said, preacher Daniel preached this and talked about it, but they, they want to go up here and they never got the basics, the bottom of it, you know? Some of them, I don't think are even saved, even, even yeah. know how to be saved, but they're doing all these religious acts that they think they're really doing something for the Lord. Right. You know, no, you need to get back to the right. basics, have a foundation under you, and then come up. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, I think, uh, I got. I guess I need to get off these examples, but I was thinking when I started roping, uh, you know, I went down next to Knoxville, guy taught me how to rope, and first thing he asked me, he said, can you ride? You know, I thought it was sort of a weird question, but after I got there, he said, he said, you don't believe how many people I come and want to put a rope in their hand. And he said, when they ride, they hold all to the side of them. He said, you can't hold a rope in one hand and ride the horse and hold on to the side of them. He said, first of all, you got to ride. So he made me ride to prove to him I could ride before we stepped up. So basics, you got to have some fundamentals to do something. And I couldn't rope a lick. Still can't rope much. But, but it was a... It was just interesting to see how he made you start all the way back to the basics. You know, if I couldn't ride, he's gonna make me ride a horse yeah. to start with. But uh, <clears throat> in this day and time, you know, you have a lot of fanatic worship, I guess you'd call it. Uh, you know, someone or a group that uh, that's lost their way and they go twice the speed. Mm -hmm. You know, they get confused and they get off track instead of backing up and going back to the fundamentals. Right? They speed forward, get further away and yeah. get more trouble and get more confused instead of backing up. I have to back up a lot in my life. Right. I mean, I, I like to go forward, but there's so many times I've just said, nope, back up, let's start all over and get the basics here. But anyway, uh, getting into what I was talking about, I got six fundamentals. Like I said, I'll put all of this in my own words. So, you know, don't, don't break this down and say this is all the doctrinal doctrine that our church has so this is just some stuff I had but I wanted to talk about Bible, God, Jesus, salvation, hell and heaven and uh, don't panic she said I had two hours, two hour window so but anyway uh, I just want to talk about some of these sort of give a definition of them and back them up with some scripture but uh, we'll start with uh, the Bible you know we believe that the Bible it has originally written is the inspired and fallible and errant word of God and the supreme authority in all matters of faith and conduct. Amen. 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 Uh, you know, it starts out, and I'm going to do a bunch of scripture. I, I'll, I'll just go fast. If I wait for everybody to turn, we'll never get through this. But in John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. You don't get in the beginning was the word you missed it right foundation right you know so you got a building 
You don't start with foundation, you miss it. You can't put rafters on no foundation. Uh, I ain't too smart of a carpenter, but I, I believe I figured that out. But uh, but it, it's and I'm relating this to, to today's society, just seeing people like Preacher Dan has already preached. You see so many people that's so confused. Uh, I mean, it's just like people come in the store and Jimmy can tell you. So they'll come in and quote scripture to you and, and you know, and I don't know how to say this, you know, it, you know what they are and who they are. But because they know you go to church or something, you know, they're quoting scripture and, and telling all this stuff and, and you're like, you know, you've missed it. You know, you, you don't you don't understand. You know, you, you need to back up and get the basics. You know, I don't even know that these people are saved. So anyway, uh, next one is Second uh, Timothy three and sixteen. It says all Scripture is given by inspiration of God. If you if you miss that, you missed it too. You know, all this is, is basic stuff, but the, but you've got to have the foundation. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So you've got to have the Word of God for all of that. Amen. Uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 20 says, Knowing this first, that no prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation. For 21, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So moved by the Holy Ghost is where this word came from. Amen. You know, if you don't have a 1611 King James Bible, then you missed it. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's just the way it is. Amen. You know, people argue with you over that. And all Amen. Thing, you know, you get arguments. Don't you think somebody will be saved with this? I ain't going in that. You missed the boat. Yeah. You know, if you ain't if you ain't in the original word of God, right. you missed the boat. Amen. So that, that's... My opinion. Amen. Uh, but uh, but there you go again. Back up to the basics. You know, get be in the right Bible. Uh, Revelations chapter 22, 18 and 19. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book, Take away from the words of the book of this prophecy. God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. And it's funny because I looked in the NIV on this and it, and it basically says the same thing, but they changed the words. Mm -hmm. The very scripture that says don't change the words, they changed the words. Right. Is that not ironic? I mean, yeah. is that not amazing? Because yeah. I, I, I just looked at it and said, I'm going to look at that and just see. Sure enough, it was different. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it says basically the same thing, but if it says the same thing, why change it? Right. You know. Right. Uh, I, I don't. I don't understand that. But anyway, <laughs> all right. So, you know about the Bible. So we got to have the Bible to learn about God. Mm -hmm. So that's what I got next about God. We believe that there is one and only one living and true God. That he eternally exists as three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That all three are eternally equal in nature, attributes, and perfection. Amen? Mm -hmm. All right. If right. you don't agree with something I say, tell me, because yeah. I need to change it. So, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but you, you know, you got to have a Bible to know about God. This is who God is. Then uh, Genesis 1 1, you know it. In the beginning, God. Amen. You miss that, you miss it. Yeah. You miss the foundation right there. Right. So mm -hmm. if you can't say it was some other way, something else, in the beginning, God right. created the heaven and the earth. He made it all. Acts 15 and 18. Known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. Like I said, he made it all. He done it all Amen. from the beginning. Amen. You got to believe God had it all. He still has it all. He had it all. He always will have it all. Mm -hmm. So, uh, moving on to, uh, let's see, 1 Timothy 2 and 5. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, and that is man Christ Jesus. So you got God, you got Jesus, which is both the same. Mm -hmm. And all the, they're all one. Right. If you don't get that the all three is one, you've missed the boat again. Right. And uh, I guess you get tired of me saying that. But I'm just saying you mm -hmm. missed it. There's so many ways. It's so simple, but so many ways people get confused. 
Mm-hmm. But it's really simple if you if you just pay attention to it. It's not it's not hard. Right. And uh, but uh, let's see. Uh, John one and three says all things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Amen. How hard is that to understand? Right. You know that's that's pretty plain. Yeah. You know, read that in your Bible. That's that's God. Mm-hmm. I made it. I've done it. It's mine. It's all of us. Right. You know. Uh, but uh, I see uh, Matthew uh, twenty-eight verse nineteen. It says, "Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Ghost." There you go again. It started with God, and it goes through you know, goes through the Son, and then the Holy Ghost is still one. Mm-hmm. He started it all. He created it all. Uh, but uh, you go from Bible, Bible you learn about God, from God you. Find out about Jesus. Mm-hmm. Right? And uh, about Jesus, it says, We believe Jesus was conceived of the Holy Ghost while the Virgin Mary lived a physical life on this earth and being fully God and fully man was without sin, was mm-hmm. crucified on a cross and resurrected on the third day for the forgiveness of our sins. Uh, now sitting on the right hand of God, being a lifeline from us to God. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's Jesus. Amen. You know, if you miss that on Jesus, you missed it again. Amen. You know, if you think you know God, you think you read the Bible, you think you know God, if you don't, Jesus not in there, mm-hmm. you missed it. Just like she said, the turning point. Mm-hmm. You know, you missed the turning point. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, Luke 1 and uh, 35, it says, And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. So there you go. There's Jesus being born by the Holy Ghost. Virgin Mary. There you go again. Got to got to start right there. If you don't believe in the Virgin birth, you shipwrecked again. Right. But, uh, let's see. Uh, Philippians two six through nine. Who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men, and be found in fashion as man, be humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross, wherefore God has wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you got the virgin birth, Jesus grows up, he uh, he travels this earth. As a man, 100% man, just mm-hmm. like me and you, that blows my mind. Mm-hmm. But you've got to get that. You've got to understand that. But he's God, too. Right. And uh, he, he's both. So if you don't comprehend that, then you got to back up. Mm-hmm. You can't go on with something else and not, not follow that. So uh, in Mark 16 and 6 says, And he said unto them, Be not affrighted. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. So there he come. He walked this earth. He went to a cross, shed his precious blood mm-hmm. for our sins. Amen. Is that right, Charles? Amen. Shed his blood so we could be saved Amen. and spend eternity with him. Amen. So uh, you got to believe his full life. God put him here. God put him here for a reason. And he carried out what he was supposed to do. Mm-hmm. He never wavered in any way, was without sin, always done what he's supposed to do uh, because he was God, but he showed us he suffered things just like we do every Amen. day. Uh, and I was thinking about that, when you said about that uh, that rock and roll thing, uh, what was it, my, my foot's on the rock, my name's on the roll, yeah. I was thinking about that, you know, thing about that tune, you know, that rock was rolled. You know, it didn't have to be, mm-hmm. but it was rolled. That's Amen. just so everybody could see. That rock didn't have to be rolled. Right. That rock had nothing to do with him raising from the dead. Yeah. Uh, but uh, that was just a show. But I was thinking about that. When it says rock and roll, let that hit your head. You know, that rock rolled. Yeah. You know, he wasn't Amen. in there. So, uh, but anyway, uh, moving on next uh, about salvation. We believe that all mankind sins, and as such, No one has the ability to save themselves by doing good deeds or being a good person. 
It is only through accepting Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord that one can receive eternal life in heaven. Salvation is available to anyone who acknowledges by faith that Jesus Christ died on the cross for their sins, rose bodily from the grave, and ask him to forgive them of their sins and save their souls. Amen. And I wrote down right there, Charlie. Mm -hmm. So I added that to Amen. my notes. So uh, right. uh, that's salvation. Amen. You know, you got to believe what I said before, and then you you got to have the you know the Holy Spirit come into you, convict you, and yeah. accept it. Right. You know, if you miss that, and there is so many people that misses that point, right. and just says they're saved or, or repeats a prayer. And that's where they really get lost. I mean, mm -hmm. no pun intended, but it was. Right. That's where they really get lost. Yeah. Because then it's so hard to get back. Mm -hmm. Because once you think you're saved and you're not saved, and then you get in all this uh, extracurricular stuff, I call it, mm -hmm. and you're thinking you're doing a good work for the Lord, and you're not even saved. Mm -hmm. Because you missed it back, back early, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, mm -hmm. So that's what, that's what you have to have. You have to have salvation. But uh, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself it is the gift of God. Amen. Thankful Amen. for that gift of God. Amen. Not of works, lest any man should boast. So it ain't nothing about works. It ain't nothing I can boast about. Mm -hmm. I've done nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I am a dog, a Gentile dog, just like we said in our Sunday school class. I am nothing, but his grace is sufficient. Amen. Uh, Amen. But uh, I was thinking about people, you know, getting so confused with things. Uh, and it's so close sometimes. They are so close to being right. But, you know, close only counts. What is it? Horseshoes and hand grenades. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you miss God by that much, mm -hmm. you miss it. You know, there's no in between. You're either going to hell or you're going to heaven. Mm -hmm. there, there's no gray area. Right. But uh, I was thinking I was uh, putting a toy chest together for McKenna. We got it for Christmas. And uh, of course, I threw the directions away. I said, my goodness, it ain't no big deal. <laughs> threw that thing together. And so I got another fire and screw together and got it all done. Stepped back and looked at it. said, that wasn't bad. I didn't need them directions. Well, I had to back on back. Now, there wasn't a lot of difference. But there was a difference. Mm -hmm. Unless you looked at it, you couldn't tell it. But there was a difference. So I missed it. It wasn't right. Yeah. So that's how close it is following God. Mm -hmm. You've got to have it right. Mm -hmm. Or you missed the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's see. First Thessalonians 5 and 9 says, For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Psalms 118 and 14 says, The Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation. Psalms 85 and 7 says, Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. And uh, what can you say about it? Mm -hmm. You know, salvation is the top of all things. Mm -hmm. You know, when Jesus died for us, that made it possible for everybody. It wasn't just the Jews. It wasn't just a certain people. And uh, you want to get into a racist thing, there ain't no racist thing with God. Mm -hmm. When he sent his son, he died for everybody. Amen. Everybody's on the same Amen. playing field. So it don't matter what color you are, how educated you are, how much money you have, all on the same playing field. Right. It's all Amen. evil. Uh, but, uh, of course, from here, John 3, 16 and 17, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. <laughs> For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And that's where people think, you know, uh, God punish you. God can't punish somebody or something. He didn't come here to punish anybody. Mm -hmm. He came here with the greatest gift of all gifts. Amen. You know, just accept him. And, you know, you're heaven bound. Amen. There's nothing that could be any better than that. And, uh, People get so confused about that, like I said, about salvation. And if you miss it by that much, you might as well not even think about it at all. Because it, it, it's, there's no chance. So, uh, uh, but anyway, uh, going on to the next one is, uh, you know, I, talk, I was looking at these and I said, well, you know, I've got 
the Bible and got God and got Jesus, got salvation. But I said, what good is that if you don't know where he saved you from or what he saved you to? Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, talk about hell. And hell is a place of eternal punishment and torment mm -hmm. where God mets out his wrath against sin. Mm -hmm. And that means to measure quantity, dimensions, and capacity. So he controls hell. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you think that's the devil. God controls hell, too. Mm -hmm. He's in control of all of it. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, Revelations 20, 15, And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Uh, pretty simple to understand. Yeah. Right. If you don't accept him, you're headed to hell. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, Mark 9, 44, Where the worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. And that's talking that those scriptures are talking about where you know it's better to be man or not have a leg, not have a, whatever you have to go through here and be saved is a whole lot better than having everything and going to hell. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So no matter what you have to go through, if you're saved, that's the ultimate thing. Uh, and uh, 46 <laughs> says, For the worm dieth not, and the fire is quenched. Verse 48 says, And the worm, the worm dieth not, and the fire is quenched. I think he wanted you to understand that. Mm -hmm. I think he wanted to make it pretty plain, don't you? Yeah. Uh, I don't think he put it three times if he didn't want you to understand right. that. Right. Uh, but uh, let's go to Matthew uh, see, 13, 49, and 50. So shall it be at the end of the world, the angels shall come forth and serve the wicked from among the just, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. And I looked up this gnashing, and I didn't write down the definition, but I just read some about it. Man, you think about gritting your teeth in pain. I mean, if you've ever been in severe pain, just think about that for a second. I know I was thinking a couple times when I was, when I had a gallbladder attack. Mm -hmm. Man, that is some of the worst pain I ever. I was embarrassed at how I acted. I was in so much pain. Uh, and I just think about that was probably a couple hours. What's a couple hours to eternity? Right. Yeah. And a whole lot worse right. pain than that. Yeah. You know, that, there's no comparison there. And I was thinking another time I had a ruptured disc in my body, <laughs> and they, they put that needle in my spine was going to put some of that medicine in there where the disc was ruptured there was no room for it when he put that in there it all pushed against that nerve i almost tore the sheath off that leg man it hurt like and i was thinking how bad that hurt and it was like for 30 seconds mm -hmm. and i had to give him stop you know of course the doctor comes out later and looks at my mri and he says ain't no wonder i couldn't do that there wasn't room for it in there and i'm like they could have known that before then <laughs> so, but anyway uh but I think about how severe that was. Right. And that was a minute right. time compared to eternity. Yeah, I mean, God it's forever. I, I can't even comprehend eternity sometimes thinking about it. But mm -hmm. you think forever and ever being in that pain, man, don't, you don't want to be there. Right? Amen. So, you know, if the Lord, Lord pricks your heart, I'm telling you, give it to him. Amen. So uh, the next thing is uh, saved into heaven, a place of eternal security and peace with Amen. God and the Lamb Jesus. Amen. Isn't that good? That Amen. Everyone says it all, don't it? I mean, Amen. You could go in a lot of different directions, but <clears throat> when you're with God and His Son, that's everything. Right. That's it all. You know? Yeah. And I'm, I'm pretty sure the Holy Ghost is going to be there. Yeah. And I'm with them all. Yeah. So, uh, Revelations 21 4 said, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. So it's not going to be like here. Amen. You're not going to have the agonies and the pains and the stress and, uh, you know, what people's going through, just what our little church is going through right Amen. now, what we have been through. There won't be no more now. Right. You know? Uh, Man, is that not a blessing just to think about Amen. that? To not have to deal with these worldly issues and get out of this <laughs> God-forsaken country sometimes. I mean, Amen. I love my country, but when you start looking around, sometimes you get really frustrated just to see what's going on and what's in it. And I yeah. just look up sometimes and say, just come on, Lord. You yeah. know? And then the only thing I hope that then I think as soon as I say that, and I catch myself saying it, I think, maybe wait till this and get saved. Yeah. You know, Lord, maybe... Maybe get this one, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, 
It's a hard, it's a hard place yeah. to leave because you don't want to leave anybody. Right. But there's coming a day who's going to get left. Yeah. So, you know, we need to spread the word that, Amen. you know, this thing's coming to an end. Right. So you better get on. Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, John 14 and 2 said, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. It's a mansion. <coughs> I mean, it's the best. Yeah. I mean, the best of all best. Uh, when he says it, you don't say it, you just you put words in there. He means it. So it's one of the best pretty places you've ever seen in your life. Amen. And uh, I think about something, I, I haven't traveled a whole lot, but what I have traveled, man, I have seen some pretty places in the United States, just here. And I look at some of those, and I think, man, can you not even compare it to what heaven's going to look like? Right. And this is beautiful, probably. Just around here sometimes in the fall, look at and uh, I've been a lot of places looking at deserts and different things. And just, just the beauty of how God made it on this corrupt earth. Right. Can you imagine how good heaven's going to be? Yeah. Uh, but uh, let's see. Look, let's turn over to Revelation 21. I'll just turn over there. I was just going to mention it, but might as well just read it. Revelation 21. Let's see. Let's do 21 through 23. It said, and the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every, every several gate was one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, and it were transparent as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. Just like I said, mm -hmm. you know, God and His Lamb. Amen. Right there. They're the temple of it. Amen. And, and the city had no need of the sun neither of the moon to shine in it or the glory of God did lighten it and the lamb is the light, light thereof. Amen. So that's the light. You know, and and I, I just can't, you can, it tells more about what heaven looks like here, but I don't think my feeble mind can even have a clue of what heaven looks like. So when you're saved, you're not only saved from the worst thing it could possibly be, you're saved into the greatest thing. It could Amen. Possibly be. So you talk Amen. about a 180, there's right. a 180 and there's no in between. Uh, so uh, that's just what I wanted to, I hope this made sense to you, but uh, I just want to tell you, you got to have the Bible and know about God. Right. You know, and uh, you got to know God to know who Jesus is. Amen. You got to know who his son is because he sinned. You know, he had a plan, the plan of salvation. That was next, salvation. You know, so you can be saved and go be with him. And then, like I said, saved from hell, saved to heaven. And uh, that, that's just some fundamentals that uh, I just got to thinking, you know, the basics of things that you need and Amen. that you got to have. Because if you miss those, like I said, it, it's, it's, it's better, I think, I think sometimes it's better not to know it all than it is to get laid down the wrong road or right. be confused. Right. And there's just a lot of confusion today right. that people miss the basics. You've got to have the foundation and the basics mm -hmm. to step out. And everybody's out here with all these theories and doing all these things, and half of them don't even have salvation. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not, you know, I don't know who's saved and who's not, but you know what I'm saying. Right. You can just look at some of the things that are going on and you're like, they don't have the foundation I don't even to even be here. Mm -hmm. You know? So, anyway, that's pretty well what I had. And uh, if y'all have anything to say or read, uh, you do it this time. Well, this guy's been preaching the gospel chapter number seven. And I got up on Sunday morning to preach and got stuck on verse number 25. The Bible says the gospel. Why hast thou troubled us? The Lord shall trouble thee this day, and all Israel stoned him with stones and burned them with fire after they had stoned them with stones. Got stuck on that verse right there and still really stuck on it into this week. Thinking about the first part of there, it says, Joshua said, Why hast thou troubled us? The Lord shall trouble thee this day, 
And if you study out Achan there, or if you look at the messages, you'll know that Achan is a troubler. And we know that sin troubles us our whole life. If you let sin trouble you your whole life, then one day God's going to trouble you. Mm -hmm. And people don't like to think of God as a troubling God or a God that's going to make anyone suffer. But when you get to the end of your life, and the Bible says, if you're not saved, you will face the second death. And you get there and, and, and the books are open, and your name's not there, you're going to be troubled <coughs> that day. So think about that, and really think about salvation this week, and, and how that the children of Israel had to deal with the sin in their lives before they could move <coughs> any further. And there's going to come a point when you don't have an option but to deal with your sin before you move on. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you don't deal with your sin at that point, you're going to move on and still be lost. And the Lord's going to trouble you. So mm -hmm. You don't have to continue to live in your sin can deal with it today and move on uh, and, and, and have an eternity in heaven to go to. Amen. I appreciate the lesson tonight, Brother Nicky, and I was thinking about, you know, everything that... Um, <clears throat> Of course, everything that detours us from truth, you know, the devil's behind it. But, you know, God uses a lot of people. Um, and, you know, when it all comes down to things, just like what you talked, the very first thing you started off on was the fun of, of the Word of God. And, you know, everything that we believe, you know, or I, I guess for, for, any, for anybody, you better make sure it's in the Word of God and not just on a philosophy of a person, a parent, grandparent, or, or, or whatever. <laughs> and um, and I, I thought about Romans 10, 17. It says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. And so without the Word of God, um, there's no faith. Without the Word of God, there, you know, without hearing, without the Word of God, there's no hearing. Without hearing, there's no faith. And so um, I was just thinking about, you know, the trouble, I think a lot of what you were saying there is like people, you know, missing the boat, missing, missing, basically missing truth is the fact of they've, they've based it off of what somebody's told them rather than, than what God says in his word. And so, uh, you know, I, think that um, it, we all, you know, Paul told Timothy, he said, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. It surprised you how many people just don't know anything about the word of God, you know, and that, that's a, that's a dangerous thing because if you don't know anything about it for yourself, then you're obviously going off of what somebody else has told you. So, um, so God help us to to get in there, but I appreciate it. Um, very, very needful. Anybody else? Sorry, I didn't mean to go so long. That's unusual for me. Keith, I almost got the two hours in.